Hello YouTube, this is the Windless Steelcrafts Half Moon Tomahawk. Now this is made in India. The price tag was $50. Uh, the head is carbon steel. Not sure exactly what grade of carbon steel. The length of the hawk is 18 and 1 half inches. The length of the cutting edge it's about two and three quarters inches. And here is the head of the tomahawk. We're gonna to test this out later in this video, but first let me just show you how it comes. Uh, it has a very nice little uh, hammer end right there. And it is on very securely. There's no, there's no wobble, no wiggle at all, so that's good. We'll see if it remains that way. Now check out the handle on this. Very nice. It is decorated uh, with burn rings, with tacks, and then with a, a leather uh, wrap. And also has a lanyard. Very nice. And they say this handle is a hardwood, but they don't say what wood it is. It's actually, this wood itself is very light. I can feel uh, making this tomahawk extremely top heavy. Now this hawk does not come sharp. There's no edge. There's no edge on this hawk. You have to sharpen it yourself. All right, and I'm gonna go do that right now so that we can go test this out. All right, I'll be back with the, uh, the sharpened half moon tomahawk. Okay, I have sharpened this hawk. It is, it is uh, fairly sharp now, but keep in mind, look how thick, right? Look how thick the blade is all the way up to right there, and then it just forms the edge there. So the geometry here is very broad. It, it's much more like a hatchet, right? Much more like a hatchet than, um, than like the fine edge you would have on a lot of knives. Um, but that's fine because we're gonna be using this essentially as a hatchet when we go chop uh, into some pieces of wood. So let's go do that now. Okay, here we go. Uh, please excuse the lawnmower that's uh, off in the distance and the beautiful little dandelions quite manly all right let's destroy this thing Oh, and one thing, I realize you're not supposed to use, generally not supposed to use two hands with just a hawk, but just for the purpose of hitting it as hard as we can for a test, for these last hits I am going to use two hands for these hits, just for durability testing. Now the thing is, in order to make it not bounce as much on this, I would have to remove more metal because it's so broad. I would actually have to remove a lot more metal if I wanted it uh, to bite more. Nice. That just destroyed it. Okay, YouTube, I've got some sad news. Yes, um... The handle broke. I don't know if you can tell what type of wood that is. Maybe someone out there could, could uh, tell us. It is extremely lightweight. I, I could feel that it was very light. And it survived the chopping. It even survived, you know, chopping very hard with two hands. But what it did not survive uh, was just a little bit of throwing. 
let me roll in the throw that broke a thousand hearts, or at least uh, it broke this handle. Let's let's take a look at how it broke. All right, so there you go. I am a little disappointed, but you know what? The head of this hawk is still perfectly good. So really, you know, all this needs is a, is a replacement handle. But I am a little disappointed because this handle was really nice looking. And, you know, whenever an item of gear breaks, um, it's a useful video because it, it saves it from happening to thousands of people who might have might have bought this but there are always going to be people that blame the reviewer uh, you wonder why people don't show failures more it's because you actually get harassed uh, they're always going to blame the reviewer all I can say is that I've thrown all my SOG Hawks which all have synthetic handles I've thrown all my cold steel Hawks I've thrown a dozen different Tomahawks and this is the first one that's ever broken. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's because you suck. Well, this is the first one, and you know how many hawks I have. So I think it's because th this is, I mean, this feels like balsa almost. I mean, this is like bamboo. I mean, this is like bamboo lightness right there. Um, yeah, I just, I just think this wood is too light. You know, I almost think that what they should do is instead of selling this whole hawk for $50, they should they should just sell the head, you know, for maybe $25 or $30. Cause this is a great tomahawk head. And you know, they should just sell the head and then you could just put your handle uh, on it yourself. So yeah, a little bit disappointing, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order, I'm just gonna order uh, probably one of Cold Steel's replacement uh, tomahawk handles and I'm going to sand it down so that it it fits the socket for this one and I'm just going to salvage that and I'm just going to you know make my own Frankenstein hawk and I'll probably have a video of that too okay so there you go you know I was not expecting this because it did so well in the chopping I mean the head even now the head is not loose at all not a single half of a millimeter that head is seated so well Them's the brakes. I hope I didn't traumatize anyone too much showing broken gear. I know all the fixer uppers out there, they hate seeing anything break. They don't want to think that stuff could break. But it happens all the time. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.